We live in tight economic times, and many people have had to find second jobs in order to make ends meet. Others have been laid off and are starting over from scratch. And with the obesity problem in the country, there's one career that is in high demand. On your site, consumer advocate Jen Strathman shows us why more people are training to be personal trainers. The economy may still be tight as companies continue to slash jobs, but one field appears to be booming. My back is totally straight. The demand for fitness trainers is on the rise in Northeast Ohio. Gyms are looking for people, chiropractors are looking for people, wellness uh, centers and medical facilities are looking for personal trainers. After years in education, Cheryl Sullivan is in school to be a personal trainer. Okay, great. A shoulder injury required help from a trainer. She says she was so impressed it made her second guess her own job. I thought to myself, now what do I really, really want to do? Well, I have all my educational skills, background, and I thought I could apply that to personal training. According to the Department of Labor, the number of personal trainers grew by 44% in 2010 and 2011. And that's why so many unemployed Americans are trying to transform their passion for fitness into a new career. Rich Samira has been a personal fitness trainer for six years, but he says the need for improved health hasn't been affected by the economy. Fitness isn't necessarily a fad. Someone you know is overweight, someone you know is out of shape, someone has some major health problems, so the, the demand is, is always going to be there. It's always going to be high. Surprisingly, the fitness industry is one of the few growing businesses since the recession began, adding nearly 10 million jobs and gym members since 2007. And that's why Cheryl plans to become a certified trainer because of the career possibilities. You can earn a base salary starting around 40000 You can go on your own and charge your own rate. Uh, it's really, it's flexible. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5. Now here's Lee and Chris for a check of what's ahead tonight at 6.